Hello viewers, this is Cal here. I'm going to show you this old um, DC power supply. It's a bit of an antique, just been cleaning it up. Made by Phillips. Camera on the macro, so you can see that. Some sort of radio device. I think it was for um, firing up the tubes. An old radio gear. And um, yeah, if anyone can tell me anything about it, I'd love to know the history. It doesn't have any date on it. Uh, pull it apart and have a look, eh? This was the wax seal that was actually in one of the screws of the manufacturer, so it appears that I was the first person to pull it apart. It was in there, a little thing with a stamp on it. That is the original cardboard. I'm guessing that can is a big capacitor. Looks like some sort of old flyback there. Got these glass cylinders. The coils wound on them. And the switching turns in and out different coils at different points. See that when I hold it up to the light, that it's um, those cylinders of glass. With very fine windings on them and lacquered. They sure don't make them like they used to. Have a look at how the um, connections are made. This little spring-like mechanism here. on the other side. Yeah, past those wires there. So yeah, it says on the plate here on the instructions that it's 220 volt DC. Now I've got 250 AC coming out of the wall, so if I rectify that, don't try this at home, I could run it at half voltage and see what we can get out of it. Wouldn't mind firing it up. There's a possibility that the lamination will fail, and not the, uh, the this tar will fail, and that whatever that cap was made out of might fail too. And while I'm on the subject of antique um, electrical goods that are a bit strange, have a look at this. This is a 1942 Exploders Dynamo, made in Australia. Show you the little badge there. And you push down on the handle, unlocks out of the holder there. You got the key pieces there to unscrew the waterproof seal. And that slots in there like that. Pull up the 
thingy. Look at that. Just like Roadrunner. And of course, you all know what's inside, don't you? When I got this, it was all completely rusted and seized. I had to pull apart the whole plunger mechanism for a week, open it in, grease it all up, get all the rust off, bring it all back to life. Thank you.